Starting off our list of this top 10 list is the original dragon. The original dragon was the one and only fusion of Zekrom, Qrem, and Reshiram. These three original legendary parts are strong enough on their own, but when you consider their combined power, their level is over 9000. I have to point out that this Pokemon is one of the strongest ever, and it was even responsible for the creation of the Unova Kingdom. Regigias is a legendary Pokemon that hardly needs an introduction. This Pokemon is known to have pulled the continents through the oceans, imagine the power needed to do that. He proved himself even more by doing this while Kyorg and Groudon, two other legendaries, were guarding the land and sea. Solgaleo gives a whole new meaning to the title Sun God, and while Lunala isn't Sailor Moon level strong, she is no pushover either. These two Pokémon represent the two shiniest objects in the sky. They have signature Z-powers that are even stronger than most legendaries. Take everything we've told you about the last entry about Solgaleo and Lunala. Then consider the fact that Ultra Necrozma can take control and fuse with both of these legendary Pokémon, and you've got yourself a recipe for number 7, Mewtwo was artificially created to be the very best of the non-god Pokémon and his mega form makes him even better. Although he isn't as strong as some other legendary Pokémon, as far as regular Pokémon go, he is the total MVP. We arrive at the half point of our list with the first entry of the god Deer Pokémon. Kyogre, the Lord of Water, created the sea, while Groudon, the Lord of Land, created the Earth. Needless to say, they are absolute powerhouses, after all, they had a heavy-duty function in the formation of the planet. Their primal forms make them even stronger, so naturally they deserve number 5, no questions about that, it may be personal preference as far as Mega Rayquaza's looks are concerned, but I really think he is one of the coolest Pokémon in existence. We already discussed the Lords of Land and Water, and now I introduce to you the Lord of the Sky. He was made to stop the fights between the Pokémon of our last entry. So he has the power levels of both Kyogre and Groudon combined. For the bronze medal, I picked the Lord of Antimatter, Giratina. This Pokemon controls Antimatter and the Distortion World, which he was banished to for being unstable and unbelievably strong. Dialga and Palkia are the Lords of Time and Space. They were the firstborns of Arceus, alongside number three, Giratina. Their function tells you just how powerful they are managing the whole universe. In comparison to these two, Giratina is just too unstable. And what is Kyogre or Groudon's land or water without time and space? However, I can't rate one of these Pokémon above the other, so they will have to share the silver medal. Arceus was the first Pokémon that ever existed, and he will probably be the last. He is literally God. What more do you need to know?